Cards Against Humanity. It has become a national pastime to play this game because everyone truly has a dark sense of humor, whether they realized it or not. But do you know who really loves to play Cards Against Humanity? Voice actors. It is the true test of willpower to see if you can read a ridiculous prompt without breaking down and laughing. I have gathered the best hands on the internet, and I couldn't possibly read all these by myself. Seriously, I couldn't. It would get really boring. So I have recruited 36 more voice actors to help me bring these to life. So sit back, relax, and enjoy voice actors reading the best of Cards Against Humanity. What's the most emo? Being a dinosaur. <laughs> And the Academy Award for Teaching a Robot to Love goes to Stephen Hawking Talking Dirty. This Oscar win goes out to all of you fine bitches out there. Meet me after the program. I will lube up my joystick. <laughs> the B in LGBT stands for bees. Spectacular abs and self-loathing equals another goddamn vampire movie. Having problems with all your friends dying? Try screaming like a maniac. It's, it's Attack on Titan! Get it? Hey, baby. Come back to my place and I'll show you my first kill. Loving you. It's easy cause you're my good bra. Do, 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 do. Chainsaws for hands. High five, bruh! Lifetime presents the story of going on an epic adventure and learning a valuable lesson about friendship. The story of Gandalf. Just saw this upsetting video. Please retweet hashtag stop inappropriate yodeling. <laughs> That's right, I killed geese. How, you ask? A murder most foul. The blind day was going horribly until we discovered our shared interest in not contributing to society in any meaningful way. It was awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I couldn't complete my homework because of poor life choices. What do I have rotting away in a storage unit? Susan, that bitch. I got 99 problems. But drinking responsibly ain't one. This is the prime of my life. I'm young, hot, and full of indescribable loneliness. <laughs> James is a lonely boy, but when he discovers the secret door in his attic, he meets a magical new friend, my worthless son. I may not be much to look at, but I fuck like the government. In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure Mufasa's death scene for all eternity. Hi, baby. Come back to my place and I'll show you a PowerPoint presentation. Next, from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Dead Parents. What's there a ton of in heaven? David Bowie flying in on a tiger made of lightning! Rest in peace. In a world ravaged by getting abducted by Peter Pan, our only solace is... The pirate's life! Keep that boy away from me, Borty! I mean the treasure, not the... Um, only two things in life are certain death and like big butts and not being able to lie about it. Mom's to-do list. Buy the groceries. Cleaning up who really did 9-11. And soccer practice? That's a weird one. Hmm. What brought the orgy to a grinding halt? Eating together like a goddamn family for once. Oprah's book of the month is alcoholism for a bunch of idiots playing a card game instead of interacting like normal humans. A story of hope. I never truly understood daddy issues until I encountered Loki, the trickster god. He's full of them. Tonight we have the million dollar question. The question that transcends all time, space, and even life itself. And that is, what gets better with age? Bill Nye the Science Guy. Step one, self-loathing. Step two, a live studio audience. Step three, profit. Four, oh, 
What is it good for? Not a damn thing! Why do I hurt all over? <laughs> Emotions! <laughs> hey, don't worry, kid. It gets better. I've been living with generally having no idea what's going on for 20 years. Hey, <laughs> look at me! One trillion dollars plus vigilante justice equals Batman! Why am I broke? Bitches. I, uh... Well, I mean, you're not wrong. A recent laboratory study shows that undergraduates have 50% less sex after being exposed to the world of Warcraft. TSA guidelines now prohibit whining like a little bitch on airplanes. You have my sword, and you have my bow, and my firm buttocks! And in the end, the dragon was not evil. He just wanted them titties. What's fun until it gets weird? The entire internet. Help me. Just once, I'd like to hear you say, thanks, Mom. Thanks for a decent fucking internet connection. ABC presents Kanye West, the story of poor life choices. In the beginning, there was Nickelback, and the Lord said, let there be silence. <laughs> What did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? Meatloaf. The man. Puberty is a time of change. You might notice hair growing in new places. You might develop an interest in... The power of the dark side. This is normal. And that was voice actors reading the best of Cards Against Humanity. Thank you to everybody watching, and a big thank you to everyone who contributed in this video. Could not have been as fantastic without your help. If you love what these guys had to offer, check out the description box below and follow every single one of them, if you can. I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Is that a keg in your back pocket? Because I'd like to tap that ass. I have a PhD. Puss hound degree. <laughs> they say that nothing has ever come out of a black hole. I'd like to be the first to come in yours. <laughs> Are you the seventh planet from the sun? Because I'd like to probe your anus. There is an infinite, ever-expanding number of universes. Is this the universe where you're into for? <laughs> Did you know that I was voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch in a documentary series that I produced because I'd like to bend your buns, bang your snatch? I have a PhD in theoretical physics. Theoretically, would you like to get physical? Damn, honey, what that mouth do? I'm done. That's the last one. <laughs> At the rate I'm going, this video is going to be NSFFA. Not safe for fucking anyone. <laughs>